So thank you for joining and this is going to be just a little quick tutorial because I was asked by one of my commenters about making a overlay file and how to create the overlay file. So um, if you're using a computer you'll need to use a uh, photo or image editor that allows you to access the background layers. Uh, so for example I'm using Pixelmator and when you create your new image you want to make sure that the image is as big as your video files in terms of the dimensions. So if you're shooting 1080p, you want to make sure it's 1920 by 1080 or larger. If you're shooting 720, 1280 by 720 respectively. So just make sure that you're making that image the right size. So we'll go with 1920 by 1080. And now here's where here's the all important part here. You want to go over to your layers and in Pixelmator it's under the view menu. You make sure you say show layers or hide layers if it's there. Uh, and you turn off your background layer because you want to make sure that you see this checkerboard pattern. That indicates, it's kind of a, a standard indicator in any program that does this. It's a standard indicator that there is no background on this image now. So I'm going to come over here to my text tool. I'm going to just make a text box and I'm going to call this new watermark. All right. And we'll say put it down here. We'll just say that's what I want to put on my YouTube overlay. So now that I've got this, here's another important part. We need to export this image as a PNG file, a PNG, which is Portable Network Graphics. We want to make sure we use that. We do not want to use a JPEG because a JPEG is going to create a background for us, even though we don't have the background turned on. So we don't want that. We're going to go with a PNG. We don't need to use a TIFF file, it's going to be way too big of a file, and anything else is probably not going to be compatible uh, with what we're using. So PNG is the way to go. So we're going to hit next, and I'll just save this on the desktop. Okay. Now we're going to take our watermark file, and uh, I'm using Final Cut Pro here on my Mac. And we'll say we're going to bring this in. I've just got some clouds there. So we want to let me just put it over here. We're going to drag this directly on top of our footage and now it superimposes the watermark on there and the only reason it allows us to do that is because we had the background layer turned off and we saved it as a PNG file. Now um, those of you that are going to be using LumaFusion um, you can just email this file to yourself or put it on Dropbox or somehow uh, get it over to your um, get it over to your iOS device don't go through photos or use um, don't use photos to sync it through iCloud and everything because it may convert to a, J a JPEG and you don't want that. So you can go through iCloud Drive, you can go through Dropbox, uh, email it, just do anything that doesn't involve syncing through photos because that would not be the way to go for this. So once you get this into LumaFusion, LumaFusion will respect the transparency of the background and it will superimpose over whatever you have just like this. Um, I'm going to look into cre how to create this uh, a transparent background uh, file on an iOS device. I'll look into that and, and try to make a video on that. But uh, this video would definitely be applicable if you are uh, using a computer to, uh, to create your, your file. So uh, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. And uh, if you have any further questions, feel free to uh, let me know.